Everybody, Eric King here in the WHAS 11 studio. You're looking at a new live picture from our senior photojournalist Jake Cannon. This is at the intersection uh, or near I-64 westbound and the Waterson. A JCPS school bus has rolled over with students on it. You can see that bus there. Uh, these students were en route to No Middle School and Manual High School. That is bus number 2015. We know that there were 20 stu 22 students on board that bus. Five or six of those kids, as we're told, have been taken to the hospital. Their injuries at this point are not known. The remaining students uh, were transported to Wagoner High School. So any parent that had a child on that bus can pick them up at Wagoner High School, so long as they were not one of the uh, five to six children that were transported to the hospital. Uh, this is early information right now, but you can see that bus still on its side again. 22 students were on that bus. Five to six have been taken to the hospital with injuries on unknown. The rest of those students are at Wagoner High School right now. We're told they're safe. Chelsea, uh, I know you've been trying to give people some perspective on how all of this is impacting traffic right now. Well, all lanes are blocked in that area, and I also want to show you I-64 at Blinken Baker. You can see that the traffic out ahead of that, that's about two miles away from the Gene Snyder, so we have a big backup. You want to avoid the area. Also, they are blocking that area, getting on from I-264 onto 64, so or 64, so avoid the area if you can.